Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I will introduce you to a preview of a new feature named Dynamic Views. Click's associative difference offers many unique advantages, including the ability to instantly change directions when exploring data to uncover hidden insights, much quicker than SQL and query based tools. But what's the best way to balance Click's in memory caching capabilities? with the ability to dynamically query data sources to ensure that your critical analytics reflect the latest information. One way to do this is by utilizing dynamic querying with on-demand app generation. This feature, which has been available for several years in ClickSense, is being used by hundreds of customers. The user first goes to a selection app where they choose the criteria for what data they want to explore in detail. They then initiate a query to the data source to retrieve the selected data. This data then populates a predefined analysis app that the user can now use to explore the data in detail. If you want to explore a different slice of data, just go back to the selection app, select different criteria to initiate another query, and another detailed app will appear. And this is all possible for each user. For example, if 100 users use the selection app, 100 queries will be generated to create 100 different personalized analysis apps. But what if the user wants to be able to quickly update just some specific charts within their app? How can an analytic chart quickly reflect the latest data that's in the source? To meet this need, I want to give you a demonstration of a new capability called Dynamic Views. Dynamic Views allows ClickSense apps to be configured at the chart level where you can define how often a specific chart or charts are refreshed. Initially, charts can be refreshed on an on-demand basis. A subsequent release will offer the ability to refresh at a regular scheduled interval. Let's take a look and see how it works. Dynamic Views uses the same exact detailed app or app template that can be used by on-demand app generation. And you'll notice in our asset panel here, we have a new button for our dynamic views. By selecting that, we can now create a new dynamic view. So we'll give it a name, call it dynamic view one. And you can see from the template app, it will show you all of the apps that you have access to. If you set up a detailed app for on-demand app generation, for example, you can use that as well. And any master visualizations that are in there will then be pulled in. Let's also set up a row limit expression and we'll do this for the aggregation for the fares measure, and we'll set it to 20,000. So by clicking Create, we have now created this new dynamic view, and it's pulled in all of the master visualizations from that app template. So now all we need to do is just drag them and drop them on the canvas. So let's say I'm interested in our fares number, as well as uh, maybe some additional detail in the form of a table and then our map. Okay, and these are the same exact objects that were available in the on-demand app generated uh, template when we went through that example in the beginning of the presentation. So at this point we can go into analysis mode and you can see that we have a little notification here explaining that the current selections exceed the constraints. So by selecting this I can view the constraints. You can see our current row limit and then what the constraints have been set to and you can see if there's any selections applied. And as I also mentioned, this is an on-demand refresh, so you'll have to initiate it. Subsequent releases will allow you to have this scheduled. So let's reduce our answer set to, let's say, just JFK rate code and payment type dispute. And now we can refresh our dynamic views because we have automatically set those constraints or filters. If we go into the history within Snowflake console, and you can see that this has refreshed, and you can see where rate code is two and payment type is dis or DIS for dispute. So this is an actual query that's being run on the Snowflake data warehouse. And this console is showing that happening in real time and the duration. Now, if we go back, we can see that it has refreshed and now the data is displayed in the form of what we call the dynamic view. Now, obviously, I don't have a way of updating the 
individual data warehouse to simulate a transaction, but you saw the real-time query being displayed directly in the console. And now this particular data in here, I could perform a, a, you know, additional selections. It's basically now part of the selection interface for these individual dynamic views. Okay, so that's all I wanted to demonstrate with dynamic views. I'll have another video on this going into a little bit more detail. It will be posted in the Click community. This is a great example of a hybrid approach where we are working with our in-memory caching associative engine data as well as real-time or near real-time data directly from the data source. If you have any comments or questions, please put them where this video is posted, either in YouTube or in the Click community, and we'll do our best to accommodate. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.